Now we are going to run SNMP, uh, net SNMP commands uh, from a workstation. I'm using a Mac, so no install is needed, but if you're using Windows and Linux, you can install the binary, download the binary and install that in your workstation uh, via going to net-snmp.org. So let's run some SNMP commands. So the first command what I would like to run is uh, SNMP get. Uh, but only restriction with SNMP get is you need to specify the object itself. Uh, so I am I would I am interested in looking at sysup time, and you, know, you see that it return how long the router is running. Uh, in this command, I mentioned just one object, which is system uptime. But uh, if you have a multiple object, you can all. Uh, paste that in one single command line and it will provide um, the, the result. But the command which we are interested in is in SNMP walk, which is uh, which we can issue from the root and it's going to read all the MIB uh, tree and give information. So we'll run a SNMP walk command for if table. If table is a root and let's see. So you see that. It is giving me information about all the branches of the trees till, uh, till the leaf level. So these are all if MIV, output error, discard, and uh, description. If you scroll up, yeah, everything, physical address, uh, speed. These are all branches under if table. So these are all interfaces available uh, on my uh, router. So if you uh, feel this information overwhelming, uh, that's where we go uh, to a, a SNMP monitor, uh, like a PRTG to have better visualization. But if, if you want a better format, uh, you can probably rely on SNMP table command. All right. SNMP bulk walk, SNMP bulk walk again the same SNMP uh, like SNMP walk but it's just uh, when you use bulk walk and the number of SNMP packets exchange they are a bit less so you can instead of see this is fast as well um, but it's the same information for us uh, to format it better you can rely on SNMP table and this is the SNMP table same command uh, C I and C B, uh, just to trim some trim down some information, and when you do this, please enlarge your terminal as much as you can because it's going to give you a lot of columns. Okay, so you can see that a readable format, pretty much readable. Let me enlarge it as much as I can. So I know that uh, my index one, these are my interfaces, they are MTU, packet type, error, everything. So very useful if you, uh, if you don't have any licensed software or if you want to get uh, some SNMP information quickly from your workstation while you are troubleshooting or something, this is very useful. Next what I would like to show you is uh, if you have a SNMP monitor, in my case I the monitor I like is a PRTG. So I have a PRTG setup uh, on my machine. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to devices. I have a pole, well, uh, local probe running already. So if I show you the local probe details. edit setting the thing what i want to show you is you can name it anything but uh, the thing what i want to show you is uh, the community snmp community i'm using v2c and my community string is tom can read so i'm not using the default community which is public uh, but i'm using my customized community so that i mm -hmm. when i do auto discovery it reach out to the devices within my network so what you can do, you can uh, add a device here. Go to devices, add device, select the probe. I'm going to select the local probe because that's where my community is defined. And I'm going to connect using IPv4. 
my SNMP router. Just give a name. Sorry, SNMP router. Looks weird, but okay. It's going to be a Cisco device, and I'm going to connect with IPv4 addressing. Automatic device identification and discovery schedule once is good. Uh, what I want to show you is SNMP device is inherit from local probe. So if I want, I can override, but I, uh, for now I can just inherit all the settings from local probe and say, okay, I'm going to do the discovery. It takes a bit of time because uh, it's reaching out to the device uh, based on the SNMP communities and fetching all the reading through all those MIBs. So it will take a bit of time and I'm going to pause this video for uh, uh, very quickly and come back. So uh, I'm back and uh, as you know that we were doing a device discovery inside PRTG for SNMP. It took a little bit of time but now it's available. So you can see uh, my device is added, it's a Cisco device, I named it as my SNMP router and these are all the SNMP data which is reading from uh, the device and you see that this is uh, similar data what we were uh, seeing when we were running that SNMP tool from our workstation but it's a better visualization right, uh, it's a nice green, red, orange so you know what is working, what is not working and it's a very presentable data basically. So. You can dig into that, you can see all those details. The sensor, these are the sensors uh, which is actually re reading uh, the SNMP ping. Um, you can dig into that and uh, capture more information about that. So th that, that's, the, mm, that, that's why you would like to use uh, SNMP monitor protocol. If you want, you can add uh, sensors like going here you say add sensor I would like to add some a sensor related to SNMP you can see I have Cisco sensor SNMP traffic already capturing all those so let's add a Cisco IP SLA preparing sensor settings okay could not create a sensor because IP SLA is not detected so if this um, protocol is not enabled you cannot pull that so let me quickly go and add um, IP SLA uh, set on my device which we are talking right now is going to be a very simple command uh, I am going to do a ICMP echo uh, pulling another routers uh, loop back and let's see if I can do uh, add, add it again so device is configured Cisco IP SLA here you go so it says that yes uh, a sensor detected so I can use and this is the type of sensor ID 1 type echo and frequency is all 60 second uh, for sensor you can select the priority so what the, sen the SNMP traps uh, or uh, information which you are uh, really interested make their priority high it, so it make easier uh, in terms of search and visualization and let's go ahead and add sensor I'm going to go and create sensor so it added one more sensor to my list of sensors no, 30 and no unknown no data yet because it has not captured any data so far we just started the polling but it's very uh, very nice tool you can always uh, try a evolve version and uh, uh, check play play around with it it has the MIB library you can add additional MIBs if you want you can add all your network devices and monitor them uh, using SNMP sitting here so very good tool and now you can see that we have the uptime I'm interested in IP SLA that go green so very good very good so let me know if you have um, uh, any doubts uh, feel free to comment on my video and i hope you like the video 
we'll continue this series of video uh, now the next we are going to explore the net flow and so stay tuned thank you